chairs gonna go right here. You can have a desk right here. Oh, yeah. oh, oh I thought maybe go this way, yeah. In Cameron, Louisiana, Bob Weibel joins the Connor family as they tour their new home. As project director, Bob oversaw the construction of the house, built in conjunction with Mennonite Disaster Service as part of the Partnership Home Program. Unfortunately, there are so many people, the story is repeated many, many, many times, New Orleans everywhere. So what this is about is we are one church and we are going to help one family get back in a house. We're here to build a home for David and Vicki Connor, whose home was destroyed by Hurricane Rita, and then most recently Hurricane Ike came along and uh, destroyed some other things, so, so we're here to build them a new home. The Partnership Home Program is a little different from a regular MDS built house. As a church, you'll be making a connection with an individual family. MDS does the upfront field work, identifying the client, getting the permits, clearing, clearing the way for all of that, and then turn it over to the church, and then the church takes it from there. The Partnership Home Program is composed of four partners. The clients are families or individuals without a home. The sponsors are churches that provide the materials, labor, and funds needed to build. The community group serves as the local connection for client identification and resource gathering. And MDS connects all the parties together, seeing projects to completion. The program can be approached in two ways. A church group can travel to a site and construct a house over the course of several weeks. Another option is for the sponsoring church to start the construction close to home, framing the house at a nearby warehouse, university, or church parking lot, then transporting it to its final location and completing construction. Why build it here? It's a good question. It helps people to really visualize what's happening. Here, you, you actually see the real physical house. You can walk through it, you can go, and these are the rooms, and this house sitting in this parking lot, it's now going to go to Louisiana, and a family's going to live in it, and, and we were a part of that. Families have already benefited from this program. During the 2007 Mennonite Church USA Convention held in San Jose, California, hundreds of youth attendees joined MDS in building a new home for a family who lost theirs to Hurricanes Katrina and Rita. They see the picture, they see the design, and they have the videos to look at and say, hey, we can do that. Now, of course, MDS then is there as a backup. So if there are questions, then they've been very good with this. Local community leader and volunteer coordinator, Julie Burley, has worked with MDS in Cameron since Hurricane Rita. She became an invaluable resource for Akron Mennonite Church in their building of the new Connor family home. I've enjoyed working with y'all. It's been a great honor to work with you and watch this home come up as, and what y'all put into it because everybody that's worked here has worked really hard and I've seen that and, and put a lot of love and care into what they've done to this home. And well, and thank you because when I was up <laughs> in Pennsylvania and I needed something, I'd call you and you always deliver, Julie, so we Well, it might take that. me a couple of days, but I can get it to you. So you, you do. You, we try as hard as we can We, we stuff, appreciate so. that. <laughs> yeah, did you have a good Thanksgiving? The most rewarding part of this, being able to talk with the family, David Connor and his wife Vicki, and they have two children. I ain't never seen nothing like it. Not down here. I mean, it was amazing how fast y'all went up with this house. I'm just glad that y'all got this and that you're going to have something to come home to. And Our first your kids Christmas. Your first Christmas. Isn't that awesome? First Christmas and your first home. How about that? I would just like to encourage any church that's considering doing this, talk to MDS, put a team together at your church. Uh, you need a point person, somebody that has some time. Talk about it. Think about who the skilled people you have in your congregation. Can you do it by yourself? Or do you need a number of churches to go with you and help, and help you? If you can do it, you can help one more family somewhere get back in a house, and, that, and that's a beautiful thing. Come and join the Partnership Home Program and be a part of the Ministry of Churches who have already built a new house for a family who lost theirs to a disaster. Join MDS in bringing one more family home. It's the MDS thing. I mean, it's, it's, it's people helping people is, is really what it's all about.